Hivriyon, and welcome back to another video. Today's topic is about Babarusa. Babarusas are one of the most unique and interesting animals on the planet, and they have a fascinating history and biology. In this video, I will share some of the most interesting facts about Babarusas that I have learned. Please like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Babarusas are also known as deer pigs, and they are found only on the island of Sulawesi in Indonesia. They are related to pigs, but they have some features that are more similar to deer, such as their antlers. Did you know there are actually several species of Babarusa? They come in a variety of sizes and colors, from the small, reddish-brown Biru Babarusa to the majestic, gray-haired Tojin Babarusa. Interesting fact. Babarusas are the only mammals that have tusks that grow through their skulls. These tusks can grow up to three feet long, and they can even curl back and pierce the Babarusa's own skull. This is thought to be an adaptation that helps Babarusas to defend themselves from predators. Babarusas have a very distinctive appearance, with long curved tusks that protrude from their snouts. Their tusks are actually their upper canine teeth, and they continue to grow throughout their lives. Interesting fact. The name Babarusa comes from the Malay words Babai pig and Rusa deer. This is a fitting name, as Babarusas have a combination of features from both pigs and deer. With their slender legs and deer-like gait, Babarusas look like a cross between a pig and a graceful gazelle. They even have a distinctive bouncy walk that's equal parts adorable and hilarious. Babarusas are omnivorous animals, and their diet consists of fruits, vegetables, insects, and small animals. Babarusas have the most sensitive snouts in the pig family. They can sniff out the juiciest fruit hidden under leaves, and even detect underground insects with their super-powered sniffer. No wonder their favorite snack is earthworms. While your average pig chugs down anything remotely edible, Babarusas are the Michelin-starred gourmets of the swine world. They have not one, but two stomachs like a cow. One for pre-digestion, and another for fermenting the tastiest rainforest treats. Bet you didn't see that coming from a pig, did you? Scientists are studying Babarusas to learn more about their unique biology, including their two-stomach system and their unusual tusks. These discoveries could lead to breakthroughs in fields like medicine and agriculture, proving that even the quirkiest animals have something valuable to teach us. They are very good at climbing trees, and they often use their tusks to help them climb. While most pigs snooze on the ground, Babarusas like to hang out, literally. They'll curl up in tree branches, dangling upside down like furry fruit bats. Interesting fact. Babarusas are very good swimmers and often swim between islands. This is a useful adaptation, as Sulawesi is an island, and Babarusas need to be able to find food and mates. Babarusas are social animals and live in groups of up to 20 individuals. These groups are called sounders, and they are often led by a dominant male. Babarusas are more like introverted intellectuals. Males prefer solo adventures, while females hang out in small groups with their piglets, gossiping about the latest forest trends probably. They're not exactly party animals, but their quiet lives add to their mysterious allure. Interesting fact. Babarusas are very vocal animals and use a variety of vocalizations to communicate with each other. Babarusas communicate with a complex array of vocalizations. Oinks, grunts, and even high-pitched squeaks are all part of their vocabulary. Who knows, maybe they have secret recipes for the tastiest truffles whispered in those squeaks. Babarusas are an important part of the Sulawesi ecosystem and help to control populations of insects and other small animals. Babarusas are also important for dispersing seeds, as they often bury seeds in their burrows. I hope you enjoyed learning about these amazing animals. Thank you for listening, but before you go check out these additional facts, Babarusas are considered to be a delicacy in some parts of Indonesia, and they are sometimes hunted for their meat. Babarusas are listed as vulnerable on the Ilkan Red List, and there are only around 4,000 individuals left in the wild. Sadly, these fascinating creatures are facing some serious challenges. Habitat loss and hunting are pushing them towards the endangered list. 
But there's hope. Conservation efforts are underway to protect their rainforest homes and ensure future generations can witness the glory of the Babarusa. Well, that's all for today's video about Babarusas. I hope you learned something new. Thank you everyone for watching. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you all back on the next video.